Hello everyone, welcome back to Spoil Rotten Beeves. I am Juliet and I've got a lovely workshop for you today that I'm really looking forward to. And so I'm going to wait for a few more people to join us and you can send me all your messages and let me know what you're making. And send me any questions as well. It's really lovely to be back. It's nearly been a month since I did my last live actually. Um, and in that time you've also had the pleasure of Debbie Kershaw and Leslie from The Beadsmith. Um, this month in February, um, Debbie is going to be joining us next week. She's got a lovely project for you. Then we have got Leslie the following week and then Debbie is back again on the last week um, of, um, of February. Hi Rachel, how are you? Wet and dreary in Barrow and Furness, is it? Oh, well, it's a bit like that here actually. I'm just looking out my window now and it's a very grey looking sky here in Haddenham. Um, so let me... Um, oh, hi Donna, how are you? Oh, it's lovely to be back. It's lovely to see so many people joining us. Um, so I have got um, a few little announcements. My first announcement is that I want to say a very, very happy birthday to the wonderful Wendy Reeve. It is Wendy's birthday today and uh, many of you will know Wendy because she's a very active on our Facebook group and she's a really prolific jewellery maker as well but Wendy also um, is the lady who packs up um, well who breaks down all the big wholesale packs of beads that arrive at Sport Rotten Beads um, and breaks them down into the little um, retail packs that we send out to you so Wendy works really really hard she's always whizzing um, by the warehouse picking up stock and she takes it away and then she breaks it down and she brings it back to us in super quick time and we really um, would struggle without Wendy on the team so happy birthday Wendy I hope you're having a lovely restful day I'm just going to read some of your messages now hi Cheryl hello in Florida oh lucky you hello um, uh, Janice hello Janice in Swansea and hello Lynn and yeah Lynn says happy birthday Wendy as well um, and the other thing I want to share with you is um, some of you um, who sort of know me from uh, personally, I guess, might know that I have been in my spare time. I've been training to be a volunteer vaccinator for the St. John's Ambulance and um, it involved um, interviews and um, you have to do criminal records bureau checks to make sure that um, that you're not you've not got a criminal record and then you have to do lots and lots of online training and finally um, a whole day of face-to-face -face training um, which I did um, last month and today I'm really excited because today I got my um, my uh, ID badge from the St John's ambulance today um, so I'm really excited about that which means that I am now deployable which means that I can now um, join in um, vaccinating people in the vaccination hubs um, in my sort of local area so um, hopefully I'm going to be able to put myself forward for some shifts and start doing that soon so I'm really excited about that because um, it kind of just feels really nice to be trying to do something to improve the situation for us all and to be part of that sort of big national effort so I'm really excited because that landed on my doorstep today so um, so um, I'm just going to read a few more of your messages. I should say actually it's my mum's birthday today as well. I shouldn't forget her, should I? I, I, don't, I doubt she's watching. She's probably walking the dog or something. Um, anyway, so um, let me just um, get on with... Um, <laughs> thank you, Donna, Nurse Juliet. <laughs> um, uh, let me show you today's make. Um, here we go. Um, so it's a beautiful super duo make um, using just super duos and size 11 seed beads. I love these kinds of makes where um, you're just using just one or two um, really um, sort of simple components just to make a really stunning piece. Um, and this is absolutely gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. It's one of the gorgeous super duo mixes that I've used for this one. It's called Night Magic. Um, and it's very, very pretty, but you're just using two basic components, which is really exciting I think. I've got a nice colourway to show you today as well um, and I've kind of done a little bit of beading in advance so that um, I can show you how to attach the clasp and things like that. Hi Aurora, how are you? My niece is called Aurora, I love that name. It always makes me think of Disney <laughs> because um, I think that Sleeping Beauty um, in Disney was called Aurora. Um, so let me just... Um, just pop myself to the side so you guys can see my bead mat there. And um, and then I'm gonna stick my um, my old lady specs on as my daughter calls them. And um, 
show you guys um, this make. Okay, so this, this is the lovely um, piece that I made earlier. So this is using the Night Magic um, Super Duo Mix. And then you've got this lovely um, Polaris um, Toho size 11 on the edges of this piece here. Um, and I think it looks really pretty in that kind of mix. Um, and that's why we've called this um, this mosaic it's called mosaic this pattern and it is a free downloadable pattern on the website so you will be able to just head over to the website and download it it's right on the home page as I speak it's called super duo mosaic um, and um, when you download it you'll get this um, lovely sort of full color downloadable pattern um, it's got all your instructions in there and nice easy to follow photos as well um, now, um, this one is just kind of made um, a sort of a regular sort of 18, a sort of 8 inch um, bracelet length. But I wanted to show you this one, um, which um, let me just show it to you actually on my main camera because it probably can show it to you better if I, if I do that. There we go. Um, this one is a, a long sort of wrap that my colleague Becky made and it kind of goes around your wrist three times. So if you wanted to, you can take this pattern and um, and just keep on going and make this lovely long wrap that will go around your wrist several times. And I think that's just a really sort of fun way um, to take this pattern, you know, to the next level, really. Um, so let me pop this one just to one side. And um, this is the one that I've been working on. Um, and so what you do to make this, this piece is you weave this little kind of brickwork um, of super duos and then when you're done you zip down the side and you add in an extra size 11 in between all these sets of three size 11s and you can see those extra size 11s sort of they're sticking up they create a nice little kind of pico edge um, to the piece um, so I'm gonna show you guys how you get started and show, show you then how you kind of go down the side and add in those size 11s and how you add a clasp as well. And in the meantime, um, you can ask me any questions you've got and um, hopefully we can um, chat away to each other and um, yeah, get to know each other better. <laughs> So, um, I've threaded up my needle with um, a nice long length of fire line thread and I'm going to be using these lovely colours today which I'm going to call Dragonfly. So this is a Toho size 11 in higher metallic Dragonfly here. And then I've got my Super Duo which is this gorgeous aqua luster. It's really, really pretty. And the first thing I'm going to do is just pick up a size 11 and um, take that down towards my tail of thread. And you don't need to leave a long tail with this, just a little short tail of thread will be absolutely fine um, because um, you're not gonna need to add a needle onto it later on. And I'm gonna stitch back through that bead so that the thread wraps around the outside of that bead and that bead now forms a stop bead. It's just gonna stop everything from falling off the end of my thread as I bead. Let me move everything up so we've got a bit more room on my bean mat and you can see what I'm doing. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is pick up a super duo followed by three size 11s there. And I'm going to take that down to that stop bead that I left earlier and then stitch down through the empty hole in the super duo. Hello Martine. Hello Susie Sue and Fran. Um, so I've gone back through the super duo and that, that's formed that little loop of seed beads on top of it there. And the next thing I'm going to do is pick up two super duos now. So I'm picking up two super duos this time followed by three size 11s. So I picked up two supers followed by three size 11s. Um, and this time I'm going to go back through the empty hole in that second super duo I, I added and then through that first super duo 
going to try and get my need get everything to focus for you all fingers and thumbs here today if I just move everything up on my needle and hopefully you'll see what I'm doing there you go so I've gone back through the empty hole of this second super duo that I just added and then up through the first super duo and then I'm going to go down through all those three size 11s there so I'm just going to grip that there and kind of just pull it all tight and you'll see what happens when I move my finger away like magic there you go okay so that's the end of our piece hello in Singapore it is a kit dawn yes you're right so um, in the night magic colorway in this one it is a kit and um, as soon as I finish this lovely aqua luster dragonfly that I'm doing I will get that on the website as a kit as well so that will be on the website um, after this video but the night magic is already there as a kit so I'm pulling everything tight and you'll see that you get something that looks like that there you go that's nice and focused now so I've moved that um, stop bead away so you can just kind of focus in on how the end of the piece kind of just pinches in you see those two super duos pinching in there and they, they are here on this end as well okay and now what I'm going to do is stitch through these two more size 11s here down through this super duo down through the middle super duo and then up through the empty hole in this super duo that's right next to my fingertip here it got skippy did it oh i'm sorry hopefully you can all still see me it's saying that i'm still online and it's still all working so fingers crossed it is um, and you can catch up but if not then there are always those really easy to follow paper instructions as well that you can just print out from the website um, so I'm going to go through these two size 11s then through that super duo and the super duo below it and I will get my fingers out of the way again in a minute <laughs> There you go. You can see I'm going down through these two here. Hello in Northern Ireland. And up through this empty hole in this super duo here. And then we're ready to keep building now, to keep building that kind of little brick work um, of um, super duos in size 11. So I'm picking up a super duo and I'm going to pick up three size 11s, I'm going to take that down to my work, like so, and I'm going to go through the empty hole in that super duo that I've just picked up. Hi in Florida, oh, so jealous of all you people in these lovely hot countries, I'm really missing the sunshine here, I get like that this time of year I get kind of a bit desperate for sunshine. <laughs> Um, and now I'm going to pick up two more super duos followed by three size 11s. I know I love super duos too, Jenny. Um, they are just such a versatile shape of bead, aren't they? I mean, all those different shape two hole beads that there are out there. I think super duos are the, the most um, versatile of all. Um, so I picked up those two super duos followed by um, that um, those three size 11s and then I'm just gonna go through that empty hole in that last super duo I just picked up and then stitch up through these two super duos here and these three size 11s I've just scattered all my size 11s everywhere look at that mess I've made I'm such a messy beater there you go um, so now I need to stitch through those three size 11s. And then I'm going to stitch down through this super duo, this super duo, and then switch up through the empty hole in this middle super duo. So that's down through these two super duos. Let's take that up to the camera, let you guys 
I see here we go make sure your thread doesn't get caught around anything it shouldn't and then up through the super duo you've lost your beading mojo I can't see who said that because I can't see your name on this chat chat um, on the chat that I'm using um, but I'm sorry that you've lost your beading mojo if you reach out in the group I'm sure that everyone will have lots of lovely suggestions for some lovely things that you can make to get your mojos back hello Christine don't worry about being late you can always catch up so um, now I've picked up a super duo and three size 11s and I'm just going to repeat what I did before so I'm going down through the empty hole in that super duo and now I'm going to pick up two more super duos followed by three size 11s I'm going to take that down towards my work and at this stage I always find it helpful to to position my super duos like that with this one flipped out where I want it to end up and this one sort of flipped in if that makes sense because if they're both like that it can be a bit confusing so I just flip flip them as I'm going to want them to sit in the piece okay so oh chain mails grab some jump rings for chain mail Mm, I do love a bit of chain mail. Okay, so then I'm going to go up through the empty hole in this super duo and then through the two middle super duos and back through all of those three size 11s that are on top of the work again. I'm just going to bring my, peak, my work in a bit closer so you boys can hopefully see if we can get that camera to, to focus. There you go, now it's focused. There you go. Okay. Pull this tight and go through those two size 11s. Oh, so look, did I pick up a size 11 then? I think I did, didn't I? How did I do that? I didn't even know I picked that size 11 up then. There we go. Through those two more size 11s, down through those middle two size 11s and up through this one here to, to change direction there so that's how you build this kind of little brickwork of um of super duos to make the length of this bracelet and you need to do that it's, it's a bit like right angle weave you're right jenny i hadn't thought of it like that but it is it's just that little switching direction bit in the middle um, because of the two holes that you have to do um but yeah you, it is very much like right angle weave i mean this looks really pretty i think just done, done in the one color but i think when you kind of mix a whole load of different super duos up you do create that really pretty sort of mosaic effect um that's gorgeous there so to make a, about uh, an eight inch bracelet, you're going to need to do this about sort of 27, 28 times. So you're going to need a nice, nice long length of about 27, 28 um, different um, sort of stacks of super duos. But if you're going to make a really long one, like the one that, um, that Becky made here that wraps around your wrist three times, it's going to need to be quite a bit longer. Um, so um, I've been doing this one here. And I thought I would sort of just pop this one to one side and show you guys um, how to sort of continue once you've made your strip of super duos. Um, so I've kind of almost finished this strip here of super duos and I just need to add my last two on. And because we want the ends of the bracelet to, to pinch in so that you can attach the clasp nicely, um, we're just going to need two super duos at this stage and I'm just going to turn my pattern over and remind myself what I need to do at this stage because there we go here we go right so um, I'm going to pick up a super duo followed by three size 11s and then I'm going to go down through the empty hole in that super duo Okay. And now, because we want the end of the bracelet to pinch in, 
Um, yeah, it could work as a lanyard, Fran. I like that idea. Hey, look, I could do I could do a lanyard for my St John's ambulance. I could have myself a beaded lanyard. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Look, it would. It would work really well as a yet lanyard. That is such a good idea. I love that. I love that. I love all your comments and ideas. Okay, so because we want this to pinch in, I'm now just going to pick up one super duo followed by three size 11s. And then go through that empty hole in the super duo and then up through these two super duos and the three size 11s as well. Um, and I will just bring this up to the camera again so you guys can see what I'm doing there. Hopefully we get that to focus. With these lovely luster beads, it does confuse the camera a little bit. Um, oh, I'm glad, I'm glad I've managed to inspire you, Liz. Um, and as I pull this tight now, those two super duos kind of pinch in together. You can just about see that, I think. Um, and that's what's going to, to create that little pinched end that is going to be useful when we add our clasp. So I'm now just going through those two more size 11. So I've gone through all three size 11s on the top now and I'm just exiting from that last size 11. And we're now ready to add the clasp there. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to pick up two size 11s followed by one half of my clasp. This is a great beginner's project, so if you're new to beading, I can recommend this project. I think it would be a really good place to start, actually. Um, now, you can just stitch back down through that second size 11 that I just added. This is all shown on the instructions, so if you just head over to the website, you can download those instructions. Okay, so I've stitched down through that size 11 there, and then I'm going to pick up one more size 11. And go through all three of these size 11s here. Before I do, let me just bring this up to the camera again so you guys can take another look. There you go. Just a nice, easy design, and sometimes that's just what we need, isn't it? We don't necessarily want to be taxing our brains too much at the moment with everything going on. We just want some really nice, kind of fun, easy designs. Um, and I'm going through all three of the super size 11s that are on top of that super N super duo there. There, and now we are ready to um, whiz up the side of this piece, adding in a size 11 all the way along here in between the sets of three. Um, and I've done it in the same color that I'm working with. And I think it looks really pretty, but you could have some fun here um, playing with another color. So you could decide to add in another color down the side just to get um, a different effect. Um, you know, you could just add something contrasting or something. It just give you a different, a different look. Um, but I'm going to use the same size 11 that I've got, which is this lovely Toho in the higher metallic dragonfly. So I'm picking up a size 11, and I'm going to go through these next three size 11s here. And you can now see that that's just filled in that gap there. It would give your nails a rest on it. I've been seeing on our Facebook group the lovely wire work that you've been doing. It's brilliant. And something else I saw um, on the Facebook group the other day was someone had done a beautiful um, wrap bracelet with, um, with gem duos. And I thought, gosh, that looks gorgeous. I really like that idea. Let me just take that up to the camera so you can see that. You see how it kind of just finishes it off when you fill in those gaps. So you just pick up a size 11 and then go through the next three size 11s there. And as I say, I think you could have a bit of fun playing around with this, possibly um, with um, another colour of size 11, a contrasting colour. Um, I think that would look really pretty. Um, but this is just a nice 
kind of simple make. Um, you can um, have lots of fun playing with colours with it. You can get some nice kind of satisfaction from completing something um, that you can just enjoy and start wearing straight away. And I loved Fran's idea of um, making a really nice long one and making it into a lanyard. I think that is a great idea. I really love that. Um, that's really cool. Um, so, so I've just done a few more now. So you can see how that kind of just really finishes it off, just tightens everything up. Just looking at all your comments. So um, let me know if you've got any questions at all, um, if I can sort of help with anything. Um, any ideas as well for workshops that you'd like to see a bit more of? I know that um, Debbie has got some lovely crystals in her workshop um, for you all next week. And then Leslie Ugalski from The Beadsmith in the USA, um, she has got a gorgeous um, herringbone project for you um, in a couple of weeks time. Um, and that just uses size 11s and um, size 8s. Um, it's really, really pretty though. So it's just nice, again, one of those nice simple projects where you're not using tons and tons of kind of crazy things that you guys maybe haven't got. Um, hopefully, you know, they're bits of a bit of a stash buster as well, because we all like those too. Um, there you go. Let me just bring that up for the camera. Let you guys see that. It's looking really good. It's going to look really lovely when it's kind of zipped up. Mm, flatted bracelets. i tell you what I've got to show you guys. Let me see if I can find it on my, my desk. I'm so glad you can't see my desk because um, it looks, um, it's very messy. This, um, I'm going to add this as to the website as a um, as a picture um, tutorial, um, hopefully later on today, if not tomorrow morning. It's a nice kind of leather wrap bracelet. Let me take it to the camera here um, that I want to show you guys how to do. So it's a kind of a plaited leather, but using several different strands of leather at once. I just finished with a button and um, some little sort of beads there as a... Um, as a kind of little decoration. I think it would make a really nice kind of men's bracelet, maybe a little gift for Valentine's Day or something. Um, so I'm going to add that to the website um, either later on today or tomorrow as a nice picture tutorial for you all as well. Um, oh, that's nice. I'm just reading the rest of your, your messages here. Thank you, Aurora. Remember to check the two, yeah, both of the holes of two hole beads before using them to make sure that all the holes are clear. That is so true. It's very frustrating uh, if you don't do that. Although with this project, it's not such an issue because you are going through both holes of the beads relatively quickly after one another. So if you have picked up a dud bead, uh, it's quite easy at this in this pattern to take it off again um, but in some patterns you've done so much um, before you get to that second hole um, yeah that it can be really really frustrating um, when that happens um, so yeah it's always worth checking the whole the, both of the holes of your two hole beads um, when you're using them so I'm nearly kind of I'm kind of almost halfway down this side now um, of the, um, the bracelet already and I've managed to get my thread caught around my work. There we go. There we are. So you see how it's, as I'm zipping up this side, it's just stiffening it up a little bit and just starting to curve in. When I get to the other side here, when I get to this end, I'm just going to repeat what I did in terms of attaching the clasp to this end. But I will just slide away that stopper bead there and I will then knot my working thread to this tail of thread and just put it into my work which will secure the end of the work as well. I'm glad you like the leather bracelets Donna, I thought you might like those. <laughs> I thought you might like those. Um, so I think, I think, I can't see any more questions, I think I probably covered everything that um that you're asking so i think i probably what i need to do now is is finish this bracelet as quick as i can so that i can photograph it and um and get it on the website as a um as a kit um in this lovely dragonfly color but as i said before the beautiful night magic color that i showed you earlier that's the purple one that's um 
in the top corner of my work there. Um, that is available as a kit already on the website and this um, lovely dragonfly colourway um, will be available on the website very, very shortly as well. Um, so, um, ooh, Christine says she's upcycling various jewellery um, in picture frames and repurposing into pendants. That sounds exciting. You must put some pictures on the Facebook group, Christine, because I'd like to see that. I um, do like to see everything you're making. Um, so I am going to say my goodbyes, I think, and carry on here adding in these seed beads and um, just say a big thank you, really, um, for joining me. And another happy birthday to Wendy and to my mum. And, um, oh, someone's just just got a question. When su I use Super Duo, Cheryl says, when I use Super Duo beads, they break my thread. What can I do? Um, I'm not sure. It could be something to do with the thread you're using. I mean, I'm using Fireline today, but if you use Fireline or Dura thread, you will be fine. You won't find that it will break the thread. Um, so I would probably suggest it's something to do with the thread you're using that's causing that problem, Cheryl. So go for Fireline or Dura thread, and you'll be absolutely fine. Um, so um yeah fran says thank you thank you for watching and for all your support fran bye um bye donna and um thank you for the happy birthday to wendy and to my mum and um enjoy the rest of your week everyone and thank you very much for watching don't forget to come back next week when the lovely debbie will be here and um i shall um hopefully